King Von fumbled the bag, bro. That nigga crashed out and fumbled the bag, bro. That nigga went from being the fucking body, a murder case, you feel me? You see the nigga he was co-defendants with, Mike got 30 years, like... That nigga went from being a body and in and out of jail and prison his whole life to being rich and that next to Dirk and OTF and having millions and the whole world knowing him and everybody fuck with him and everybody in the industry loving him and you feel me? He's screaming out fuck 63rd and fuck Tuka and everybody dick sucking it. They yelling that shit out like fuck Tuka and 63rd and um, just wanted to be him. This was a fan of him. Watching all his documentaries. You got niggas making two, three-hour documentaries about him. Everybody watching every minute of him. Everybody talking about him. When just a couple years before he got blew up and got out of prison, when nobody even talking about him. They knew about him in the streets of Chicago, but the world didn't know about him. But he fumbled the bag. He went from being on top of the world, having all these hoes, all this money, to dead. Like, to really dead. That is crazy. Like, how that nigga just crashed out. He crashed out over punching Quan Rondo and Lil Tim hopped out that truck and did what he did. You feel me? He crashed out, bro. That boy crashed out, bro. He crashed out. He's supposed to be move smart like Chief Keith and Dirk. He's supposed to and Herb and Polo G. He's supposed to move like them niggas. Not how he was moving. He crashed out. He fumbled the bag and he fumbled his life. He dumb, bro. He had a chance, and if he was in a position to take all his niggas from O Block with him to the top, they ain't gonna, they wanna never have the game back again. Like, how you see how Boss Top in there fighting, fighting for his life and shit? That wouldn't be the case. Boss Top wouldn't be in there fighting for his life and fighting in prison if Vine was still alive. He'd be rich. Boss Top would be rich as fuck next to Vine, sitting next to Vine. You see, Dirk don't fuck with Boss Top like that. He just fucked with him, was just cool with him off the strength of Vine. Because if he fucked it with Boss Top like that for real, he would have been put Boss Top on. Way before Vine even blew up. But no, he took his brother D-Thang with him. He took his manager Chino with him until he died. D-Thang died. He took Vine with him after he got out of jail. He didn't even know Vine. You feel me? But he just... Vine from Old Block, Dirk from Lamron, but he just put him on because he knew he had a reputation. He took Chief Wook with him. He took... um. Who else? He took Duty Low with him. He had just met Duty Low because Duty Low from Tank again. He just had a whole bunch of random niggas. Some niggas he grew up with. Bezu, you feel me? Some niggas he got with him that he grew up with. But a lot of niggas he just met because off the strength of this rap shit. Like he took Buka and Mimo with him. They from 600. He didn't even grow up with them, but just put them on because they BDs. And they the guys, you feel me? But he ain't grow up with them. He from Lamron. For, he grew up with like Reese and them. But that shit just crazy. That shit just crazy, man. That shit just crazy, bro.